Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this very special figure unboxing, showcase and review we're going to be looking at the 1989 Japanese exclusive Decepticon leader or Destron leader as he was known as this is Deathsaurus or again as Desaurus depending on which continuity you follow so with this video we are going to unbox him live in a second have a look at the entire contents in the packaging we're going to have a look at him in detail in both modes because both modes are fantastic and they are huge. We're also going to have a look at all the accessories that come with him, how you can use them in both modes and again how much playability that they've got with them because that's one of the biggest things I want to get across with this video just how much fun these particular figures are and indeed let's be honest for myself and to whet the appetite of everybody else who has in fact ordered the new Haslab version. So before we get started, I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to the channel, if you'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now, please, because it really will help me out. And there's also a complete lot of playlists with the rest of the Japanese exclusives in there as well. So let's start off with the box then. I mean, look at it. It is beautiful. All the Japanese artwork has always been stunning. It looks so, so good. The artwork for him himself, again, is just fantastic. He's in his dragon mode there, boxed up. You can't see the shield behind here. You can't see his gun behind there, but you can see see his two uh, chest attachments now these are quite interesting i'm going to explain why quickly when they were originally released these were known as tiger breast and eagle breast obviously nowadays we are calling them tiger and eagle chest i don't think that's to do with translation i just think it's because it's a little bit more pc because these were he was the leader of the breast force team and the other breast force team was of course leo kaiser and they all had things like this this was the gimmick so the gimmick in 1989 in japan so we've had headmasters we've had target masters we've now got breast force and this was these creatures which as you can see fit inside his chest and indeed eject and they've got multi-functioning purposes actually which i'm going to show you if i spin this round and then very carefully lift the camera up you can see that is the victory artwork that i'm sure most of you are quite accustomed to right now you've got the leader of the autobot star saber there is desarus himself landcross dino king uh, there's leo kaiser himself with road caesar and then you've got you can't see because the glare apologies you've got jinrai and overlord from master force and then funnily enough as i've just mentioned the other breast force team there is leo kaiser and advertised there right there's the tech specs and before i quickly open up this which i want to show you it's super clever um just again for those of you who are unaware in japan they had their own numbers well serial numbers to i suppose exactly that reference numbers so d stood for destron which was decepticon and he was number 336 and once again that i suppose clarifies and confirms just how many more figures were released in japan compared to the rest of the world right we've got some product images on the side but look how clever this is what an idea this was so instead of you having to cut the robot points out of your box and your collector's cards which were there and your tech spec right up they were on the inner flaps and you could indeed do exactly that you could just cut them out of the flap um and you keep them safe without damaging the box that is something to be aware of when you're looking to purchase japanese figures you may notice that they're missing inner flaps and it is usually because of that and i'm going to very carefully open this up and then to be honest i'm probably going to have to um uh, just stop the video just to get him out of the packaging because it's in polystyrene as you can see let's bring this out as carefully as i can right bear with me two seconds guys just so we can have a look at this before i stop everything there falls over a figure but i'm going to keep going so there we go there he is in his packaging here is the instructions that come with him and as i say multiple uses of all the chest creatures etc and he comes with a mail away item list rather and this funnily enough is for the mail away colored versions of the us ones which of course in japan had different decos there is a separate video on that on this channel if you want to see it though there's all the parts i was on about i'm just going to take him out of there and come right back to you so then here he is out of the box and i've got the one ready for robot mode as well so hopefully with the rest of the video i can give you an idea i suppose of just how cool these are and indeed how much much fun they are as well so let's start off with the i'm going to call it a dragon 
alternate mode to start off with. So this is fresh out of the box. So he's obviously not um, in the sort of correct position. He's sort of hunched all over. So you can bring these joints all the way around. These are all ratchets, which you can hear. That's little bits of polystyrene. We can bring this down, the leg down. This will also, so you've got articulation in the top of the hip. You've got articulation in the knee. You've got articulation in, I suppose, the ankle. The wings do come out and in as well. What I'm going to try and do as well is give you an idea of, I suppose, the sheer scale of this figure because it's massive. So same with this. If I bring this down, bring the leg down, bring the back of the knee out as well with that. And we're still going to have him sort of leaning over. But there we go. Oh, right. I need to put the tail on. Also, I'm going to show you that there is articulation here on the neck. So on the head, that will lift up as well. The jaw is unfortunately fused. Look at this. The chrome is beautiful. I love figures when they've got chrome. And of course, there's these. I've completely forgot these. The small arms that you can take out of here. Rotate these up. And there's even articulation there as well. So, again, 1989. A lot of the figures, a lot of the things in Japan you'll notice. Um, and, and again, my own opinion as well, same as everybody's, they started going backwards from the 85 cars. But with these in Japan, yes, they're bigger. Yes, they're bulky. Sometimes they're not as articulate, but they're so much fun. And hopefully, as I say, I can get this across here. So there is the tail. And this is going to attach to there as simple as this. And then hopefully, now I don't think I've got this one out of the box. There we go, oh, it is. That is going to stand. And to be honest, I think it probably should be a little bit higher but um I, i've got to be honest i haven't really played with these they've just been on a shelf um it's just the things that you can do with them that i really like to be fair that is going to sort of balance there we go right i can't even fit it in look how big this figure is it's ginormous so if i give you an idea as i say how big this figure is so let's bring in leader class dreadwing yeah towers over that completely towers over it so to today's i suppose modern deluxe figure uh modern voyager class figure way way bigger but anyway let's show you the parts that i actually still wanted to show you so this is um eagle chest and funnily enough this one hasn't got the small guns i'm going to show you that in a second when we come to the other so this could obviously come out uh, or be separate when he's in his beast mode like so so you've got this that's all folded out um, and of course we've got tiger chest which again he folds out he all transforms as well so what i'm going to do i suppose is show you that now with the robot mode because i'm going to take the tail off i'm going to show you how you can multi-function all of these in fact to be honest you could still if you wanted to with this you could take these you could fold these over this will tuck down into there. This will fold down like so. This will fold over. And you can, if you want to, still store these in the back of him like so. It reminds me a little bit of, I suppose, sound, um, sound blaster and twin cast because you can put like two cassettes in, shall we say. Then, of course, we've got um, eagle chest so we can fold this in, fold the tail over oh that's getting in the way i need to get it through there fold that bit there first and foremost tuck that in there same on this side um fold the legs down fold the legs down and you can keep these up so when it's in the dragon or the beast mode when you pop this there it just adds an extra dimension oh you can't even see it so sorry guys with them bits sticking out oh, over the top see them there see how them bits of the top of the truck the tiger come out over the top and once again they're that lovely golden chrome uh looking thing as well right let's see if i can balance this i'm probably going to take it out of the way because i need to take the tail is he going to balance no he's going to so let's leave him slightly over there so this is the main robot mode and again this is just ginormous it is huge, it is bulky, but once again, it is fun. The chrome on this is everywhere. There's chrome there on the shins, chrome there on the, which is of course the back of the leg, which you can see, which covers up the forearm. That is of course the feet. And it's interesting as well that the feet are die cast. These are completely die cast, something not done in figures, I think since Soundwave, was it? I don't know, can't remember, but not through the later figures anywhere. There's some beautiful detail on that head sculpt there with the visor. The head though doesn't really do anything, I think, but I'm not gonna try and force it. No, you can't, you can't even move it. The visor sticks in as well. Now you may be able to, but on mine, I 
I don't think I've ever seen anybody move it to be honest and I'm not willing to um, try and move it articulation wise the legs they won't come forward they will go out to the side um, there is a knee bend and there is not really a little bit of an ankle rock but there's these heel sprues that fold out um, the biceps don't move either at all um, but the arms there's loads of articulation at the shoulder and at the bicep you can see there and of course if you remember you've got this huge black i think that's die cast as well which is i suppose the main uh, mechanics of moving it all if you know what i mean so you can lift the arm up and down and around the same as you can on the back hinge of the leg so let's show you what you can do with the tail the tail will fold out like so there is the shield this is going to attach um, on either to be fair there's loads of places it can go you can pop it on the bicep there oh you can put it at the top i'm going to put it at the top to be honest just for now to pop it in that gap i'm going to try and have a look on the box where they put it you could put it um in i think that one there but no it may be that one it looks to be the same size i'll have a go in a second to be honest uh, there's the main gun unfortunately as i say the newer figure obviously has the mace hanging out separately but this one doesn't um, at all again due to the size you would have to lift this up also look at the detail in the molding on the wings on the sides of the boots on all these areas that you're not even really going to see it's just again it's just genius it's so so cool now let's take the oh in fact let's do it this way in fact i know what i need to do I need to take them both out because what I want to do is show you, um, to be honest, I probably should have had these the other way around because this is the more complete one. But to be honest, this is the one I have display in robot mode. So this is Eagle Chest. This is the complete Eagle Chest. So what we've got here is, here is, let's bring his feet out as normal. Uh, but what you can do, you've got a multiple choice. This is, again, I keep reiterating this point. With the Japanese figures, you can do lots of different things with them. There's lots of fun things to be had and to be done with them. So these are the two small guns. You can attach them in there. So either Eagle Chest himself could obviously be attacking with these uh, guns, literally, like so. Fold the tail out as well, of course. Oh, it's heart and mouth with a lot of these hinges, to be honest, which, you know, isn't too bad. You could pop him. I don't know if you could do a sound wave and pop him on his shoulder. Maybe, maybe. Oh, you can. There you go. It's not fixed or fused. He's just literally balancing. I've completely got away with that, I've got to be honest. Uh, but this is what you can do that's cool. Watch this. So if we took away the feet, took away, we can fold these over, fold away the tail, bring out the five millimeter peg and you've now got have i done that all around yes i have you've now got another handheld gun blaster which you can wield around like that which again is great you can also do something very similar with a tiger chest you can fold this out over there um, and then you can tuck these around there's a couple of different things that you can do with this and this is now just going to simply fit over the top of his fist like so um, so you can do a few things with this you can put it however you want let's say it's got it in the instructions to be honest because that looks a bit loose i may have got it the wrong way around if i have let's have a quick look so there is of course the eagle chest and the tiger chest and it does look to be honest according to these instructions that we are just folding it up no it should be folding it up like a gun to be honest it says so let me show you what i'm looking at right there there you can see him with both in both of the hands so it looks like what i need to do is because i think i've got him pointing down if i angle it upwards tuck that away oh i've just knocked that off you need to have this bit open though because that's the bit it's going to slide over um and attach this on to oh please don't break it onto there so you'd be pushing that up as well but to be honest let's be honest the way i'm going to be displaying this these are going to be going in that chest so i suppose one thing that you need to be aware of if you are purchasing this like the first one i had the first one i had didn't have the shield it didn't have the gun it did have the um it did have the chest pieces but if you just 
if you you know if you're just on a budget or you just want one to display you can display as you can see there perfectly with no other accessories whatsoever you've got the decepticon logo in the chest and it still looks it still looks okay obviously no issues uh whatsoever really um but i think as i say i'm definitely going to be displaying pretty much like this i'm going to keep the complete eagle chest out i'm going to put this one to be honest you don't even need to put them both in i could if i wanted to just put um tiger chest uh at the front but i think i'm going to put him uh, eagle chest in there just because i don't want to lose anything if you know what i mean so i'm going to put eagle chest in that's going to push in like so and i'm going to because this one's got way better chrome that's also something to be aware of look that's what happens when your chrome starts to fade i'm going to keep this here fold that back and i'm definitely going to be displaying him like this now obviously with the um, alternate mode you can just about, you've seen mine get away without the tail. It will perhaps balance, um, but it's, it's it's not too bad either, to be honest. That's obviously got zero accessories on it, and it will, in fact, I suppose, display okay. What I need to do now, though, is just to move these out of the way, including this, uh, to give you an idea, again, of this sheer scale um, and size. And I suppose just to show you some other of the victory figures that go with him and this one's quite funny to be honest because obviously nowadays everything's all about scale and getting funny enough i'll bring him in because he's just sticking there let's do some modern day fi fingers fi Ooh, fingers figures first and foremost there is dreadwing who he is towering above so there's a leader class there's a voyager class there's a deluxe class and just for a bit of fun where's he gone he's fell over there's a core class so for people who collect modern day figures Look how much bigger he is. He's huge. In fact, modern day figures. Let's bring this guy in. And this is, oh, I've just knocked the sword off. Everything's falling apart now, but I suppose there you go. He's not even going to fit in screen, just about. So the Haslab Victory Saber um, is about two, three inches bigger than him. However, um, the original Victory Saber is four to five inches bigger than the Haslab one. So. I'm going to have to move a few things out of the way, then and readjust the camera just to get this guy in to show you, as I say, how big he is. Um, right, let's try this without knocking everything over. Um, very small work area now in this to be fair, or review station, shall we say. So this is the original Takara. Look at that. I'm sorry, you can't see any of that. I really apologise, but look, there you go. So there is the original victory saber compared to the haslab um, and as i say it's quite funny how they didn't really scale and you're not going to be able to see the top of victory saber unfortunately as in the original but what i am going to do is bring in some of the other victory toy line as i say to give you an idea um, of you know exactly that of how scaling didn't really matter um back in the day when everything was being released so funnily enough this was, of course, before he got united with Victory Leo. This is the original Star Saber, which scales much, much. I need to bring these out of the way. Much, much better with him. Just about. He is huge, Star Saber is. Um, let's give you an idea, I suppose, with Masterpiece figures. So there's one of the Masterpiece train bots. Way, way bigger than that. Um, let's bring in again some of the rest of the victory toy line so this is the funniest one this is the one that never ever worked and i love showing this off when i do the videos just for the scale to be honest not because i've got him but because it just doesn't work it's crazy that's uh dino king which is of course the combiner which is supposed to be absolutely massive but he's tiny absolutely tiny compared to um all of the rest of the figures and in fact death saurus desaurus scales really really well with um leo kaiser which of course is his right hand henchman in the cartoon but to be honest guys very very quickly because i know that some people like to know the scale differences with some third party figures um so 
Iron Factory New Age Magic Square. Uh, I just really wanted to show the figure off, show the figure how good it is, how much fun it is. Um, and again, as I say, wet our appetites for the new one that is going to be released soon. And I'm also hoping, obviously, that he is still going to be massive. Um, he's going to scale with a Star Saber. So we are led to think it's going to be at least a leader class size. Um, which which is fine with me, as I say. But these these are your main uh, Destrons. I've got a video actually with the rest of them, including Blue Bacchus, etc. on them, if you want to check that out. In the meantime, this was 1989 Victory Decepticon leader Deathsaurus. I hope you enjoyed looking at him. I hope I did him a bit of justice. Um, I just don't have the space, but there you go. Lovely figure. Um, so much fun. So many different ways you can display and use his accessories. Um, and yeah, can't wait for the new one. Let me know what you think of him in the comments, guys. Take care.